ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ಸದಸೈ ಶಾರದ ಶಾರದಾಂಬುಜ ಗಗನ ಗಗನಾಂಬುಜ ಸರ್ವದ ಸರ್ವದ ಅಸ್ಮಾಕಂ ಸಮಜಂ ಸಮಜಂ ಕೂಡ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಕಾಜಿಬ್ರ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಲೈವ್ಲಿ ಜಾನಿಟಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಐಸ್ ಜಾನಿಟ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಸ್ ಜಾನಿಟ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಸ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ವ್ಯವಹಾರ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ This includes constructions, circumference and area of plane figures, volume of solids, shadows, geometric conditions and so on. Topics related to geometry are found in Shilva Sotras, Arabatiya, Brahmasura Siddhanta, Vanitha Zara Sangaraha, Lula Avati, Vanitha Gamina and many other texts. Anishi Devagya and his commentary Buddha Vilasini and Lula Avati says, Shetram Nama Samabhuni. Shetram actually means it's a plain surface or a field. That is um, attributed to any plain figure in geometry like a triangle, water latin, etc. Tasya Vivaharha Karna Lamba Palagibhi Reta Nalmayaha. So Karna is a diagonal for the water latin and also hypotenuse for a right triangle. Lamba is altitude, Pala is area, etc. So when determining all this consists of the Vivahara, the Vivahara of Chetra. The classification of Kshetra, in most of the Indian texts, texts the, um, uh, they deal with, in geometry they deal with the triangle, quadrilateral, circle and arc. Triangle is uh, Jatya, a right triangle. Tribuja, a three-sided one, it can be Antar Lamba or Vahir Lamba, acute or obtuse. Samakarna of equal diagonals, which consists of um, square, rectangle, also says trapezium and so on. Vishamakarna means having different diagonals. Uh, that is rhombus, parallelogram, any quadrilateral or any trapezium and so on. In the other topic is circle and arc. Shilba Sutras are the oldest geometrical treatises available uh, about in geometry. This has been developed for the construction and transformation of Vedic altars of area shapes. These are ascribed to Baudhavana, Abhastamba, Kathayana, Lenava and uh, eight more uh, says. Most of the construction that we do today and more than that are described in Shilba Sutras. Construction of fire altars in the form of triangles, quadrilaterals, etc. And also transformation of one figure into other figure are given in Shilba Sutras. For uh, example, I give one construction here. Constructing a square which has equal area to the sum of areas of other two squares. So here, A, B, C, D and C, G, H, A are two given squares. The rule says you place them side by side and mark a point on the side of the bigger square which is equal to the side of the smaller square. So mark point E on the side BC which is equal to CG. Now BE equal to CG and complete this rectangle and the diagonal AE of this rectangle is the side, forms the side of a square whose area is sum of the areas of these two squares. So the E square, this one, this is shown in how it is equal. Now, these are the two squares, A, B, C, D and C, G, H, L. And this is the newly constructed square, A, K, H, E. Now, when you take the sum of these two squares, this consists of this common part, A, B, I, H, E, V, plus this triangle A, B, E, plus tri this triangle E, G, H. This square consists of the same common part, A, B, I, H, E, and this square A, B, K, with the uh, triangle A, B, K, and the triangle E, G, C. So, 
Now here we can see this triangle and this triangle congruent. From this triangle, this triangle is congruent. Therefore, the sum of these three equal to sum of these three. Therefore, the sum of the two given square equal to the area of the constructed square. In fact, we can see that in, uh, in a right triangle, if the hypotenuse and the side is equal to the hypotenuse inside the other, they are all congruent. In all four triangles, that is true. That's why this construction comes true. And uh, for uh, the beginning students, you can show like this. You can construct it. And uh, you can see, see this triangle is congruent to this triangle. You can see this congruent to this triangle. Similarly, this also because in each one the hypotenuse and one side are equal. So automatically the sum of two squares becomes the square construct. Like this there are various constructions of um, so here uh, I have given a square, uh, we are constructing a circle equal an area to a square. We will come back to this if there is time. Then there are lot of other constructions, drawing, so drawing, dividing a line, circle, triangle into equal parts, drawing a line at right angles to another line, constructing a square rectangle trapezium in parallelogram, constructing a square equivalent to given triangles, two given pentagons, given rectangle, rhombus, isosceles triangle, and also constructing a rectangle equivalent to a trapezium, constructing a rhombus equivalent to a square or a rectangle, constructing a triangle equivalent to a square, constructing a circle equal to a square and vice versa. So, and also varies in the form of uh, Kurma, Shiva Chiti, etc. So, this is a modern construction uh, where uh, uh, sacrifice is performed. And in the ancient days, we have this is called Kurma Chiti in the form of tartars, and uh, this is a Chiti in the form of octagon, this is square one, this is called Shena Chiti in the form of a form of an eagle or vulture. So, this is an excavated one, this is a recent construction. And even today, whatever uh, fire altars they constructed in all. <coughs> whatever form that can be constructed because in the Shilba Sutras for every construction they have given the measurements and the size of the bricks uh, exactly how many needed etc. See for example for this Shena Chiti the measurements of the bricks are given like this. In the function even the measurements will be root 15, root 21 etc. They are were able to do constructions even with um, irrational numbers. And uh, moreover, all these constructions are done with uh, shilba, means a thread, so a thread or a rope. The, with the help of a thread or a rope and a nail, all the constructions were done. And this is an exploration of a Shema Chiti from Purala Uttarkhand, which belongs to 1st century, uh, it is uh, dated around 1st century BC. And after this comes a Jena text, 3rd century BCE, uh, Zotisha Karanda, Surya Prabhupada, etc. They give a uh, lot of mathematical results. For example, I will give uh, only a result on circles. Now C is the count, A the arc, H the height of the segment and B the diameter. So these results are given, the circumference, the height of the segment and arc and the segments are given. Uh, see, uh, see some formula are here, approximate formula. Then in Aryabhatiya's, Aryabhatiya's work, we have the following geometrical concepts. Area of plane figures such as triangle, trapezium and circle. Approximate volume of right pyramid and sphere. Circumference and chord of circle. Arts and table, shadows. Theorems on square of hypotenuse and on square of half card. Circumference and diameter ratio, Arya Bata gives him a verse, Chaturadikam, Chatamashtagunam, Dvashashti, Stata, Sahasranam, Ayyudhadvaya, Vishkambasya, Asamni, Vritta Paranahaha. 
it says under plus 4 multiplied by 8 and added to 60,000 that comes to 62,832. This becomes the circumference of a circle with the diameter 20,000. Therefore, we get the circumference diameter ratio which is approximately 3.1416. This is the pi value. The, the notable thing here is that Arya Beta mentions that this is approximate value. Even at that time he knows that the pi value cannot be exactly determined. Theorem of the diagonal of the rectangle to Sabaudhana Shilda Sutra gives the result known today as Pythagoras theorem. Dirga Chaturashrasya Akshinaya Rajjuhu Pashamani Tariyan Mayanicha Yad Prithak Bhute Kuritas Tadabayam Karvati This means that the diagonal and the rectangle, the square of the diagonal of a rectangle gives the sum of the squares of uh, squares on the sides. That is AC square is AB square plus BC square. See, the, this is dated as uh, the 800 BC before that. So let us this 800 BC. Pythagoras belong to this 6th century BC. At least after 200 years of our Indian contribution comes Pythagoras. <coughs> now we call it as uh, at least in India, Vijayakoti Karnanihaya or Shilva theorem. In the Bhaskara, gives the theorem for the triangle <coughs> and he gives a proof, the geometrical proof. He says mm, it's coming. to take one right triangle and take four congruent triangles and uh, arrange them in such a way that the hypotenuse becomes the side of the square and you juxtapose them like that you form a square. Now in, uh, in the center there is another small square formed which side is x minus y. The side of the smaller square inside is x minus y. Therefore, the area of this smaller square is x minus y whole square. Now, the area of this square consists of a sum of four triangles area plus this area. So, this comes to be uh, each is each triangle is half xy. Therefore, 4 into half xy plus the middle square plus x minus y whole square. This seems to be bc square is x square plus y square. This is the side of the bigger square and uh, that happens to be the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So, hypotenuse square is sum of the squares of other two sides. It is the proof of our Shilba theorem. There are lot of interesting examples for this uh, uh, Shilba theorem in uh, many textbooks. This is uh, examples from Milarati. In this, there is a tree the, which is 100 cubit length and there is the well which is 200 cubit away from this. So two monkeys sat on this, one comes along the tree and goes along the base to reach the wapi, the well. The other one jumps a little and comes back to the well along the hypotenuse. The question is you have to find out the height of the jump. The the <laughs> The Nilavati uh, verse, if you find, the rule will say the jump, the jump is equal to BC See this BC equal to 3 into ground divided by 2 into 3 plus ground. That is the uh, 
that, that is the name given. So how you distribute the ground, etc., that we can be doing by having the two equations. One based on the Shilpa theory, the other one the, the, that is given in the problem. That is the one is you have the distance moved by the link is the same. Therefore, CA plus AB equal to CD plus DB. One equation. The other equation is DB square equal to AB square plus AC plus DC whole square. So, using these two equations, we can arrive at the result AC into AB divided by 2 into AC plus AB. See, there is a complaint that Indian mathematicians just give rules just by some intuition or something, they don't know the proofs. How can uh, how can an author give such a result without knowing how he has arrived at it? So the problem is, uh, the, uh, all texts are written in palm leaves. They can't write every step, everything in palm leaf. They teach the methods or the proofs or explanation to the students orally. And the only the final results or the final example, they record it in the textbook. So the students who come in the student teacher uh, uh, parampara, Guru Sisha parampara, they give the proofs for what is given by the earlier masters. The Bhaskara has written his 150 AD. His commentators who come three, four centuries later, they gave the Uttapathis or Indian proofs for the problem given by Bhaskara. Uh, we, have, we can say even our Ramanujan worked in the same way. He has in his two books only the results and not the proofs or explanations. <laughs> the proofs or explanations. But uh, um, see, uh, probably he would have heard his explanations or proofs in the papers he has collected from the shipyard. But he could record only the results in his main books. Uh, probably if he had lived longer and if he had students, in the, those who have come in the student line, they would have given the proofs for Ramanujan, what he thought and what he wrote. Okay? The, he has worked in the same way as our ancient Indian mathematicians. So this is the proof given by the commentators. Uh, taking the two equations and arriving at the same result T into ground by T into T plus ground. And Akshetra is a main field, that is which cannot form a field. In schools we teach that sum of two sides of a triangle should be greater than the third side. So, which is not from a previous slide event. If you take the two equations, one in Pitagra, that is uh, Shilva theorem, and the result, you can combine that and get that. It is easy. And um, so he's the commentator says, uh, Ganesha says, that you take sticks which are equal in ratio to the sides of the figure, and taking her uh, triangle with three sides, if two sides some of two sides is less than the third side, it doesn't form a chakra. And if uh, also if they are equal to the third side, then also a triangle cannot be formed. And uh, in the point that some of two sides is greater than the third side, then a triangle is formed. We, we, were, we used to do this uh, kind of uh, uh, demonstrations in our activity classes, but that time I didn't know that it is given by our own Indian mathematician. It is not. It has come from anywhere else. So, it's again uh, proof uh, from a known result. Finding the area of the rhombus from the known result of the area of the rectangle. So, to find the area of the rhombus, uh, it, it all shows they knew very well the properties of all the quadrilaterals everything. They say you uh, draw the blue diagrams which are perpendicular and uh, construct uh, uh, 
cut four more triangles equal to each of this triangle and arrange them in uh, such a way that they form a rectangle. Let's suppose it like that. So now this is four triangles plus four triangles, eight triangles. The area of the rectangle we know it is half into sorry uh, product of two sides d1 into d2 and this is exactly half of this. Therefore area of this rhombus is half d1 d2. Finding a southern diagonal of a quadrilateral from the one you know the one diagonal. So here ABCD is the given quadrilateral and BD is the known diagonal. Then the commenter uh, says that you draw two perpendiculars AF and the CE from the two opposite vertices to the known diagonal BD. So BD is known. AF and CE are the two perpendiculars from the opposite vertices A and C. Now extend AF to G such that FG equal to EC. Okay. Now this FGCE is because these are perpendiculars and FG equal to CE. Now FGCE is a rectangle. If FGCE is a rectangle, then FG equal to EC is given and also GC equal to FE. So this is the result given, how to arrive at the result. So now, in triangle OCG, it is a right triangle because we have drawn it as perpendicular. OCG is a right triangle, therefore AC square equal to AG square plus GC square. Now this AG is AF plus FG. FG is C, therefore AC is AF plus CA square. And also GC square is same as EF square. Therefore we get the result. If BD is given to find the other diagonal AC, this is the formula. This formula is given in reality, the proof is given by the commentator. So this is what I explain. The area Sarvadeva Yuthi Dalam Satasthitam Bahadeva Varahitam Satadvada Vila Nesvita Dalam Satadvijay Spashtanayava Muditam Tridahuke So this formula would have come across We call it as a Rans formula but it is given by Brahma Gupta And also by Bhaskara this is called Haran's formula nowadays, but it is given in 628 AD itself by Brahma Gupta. And this, uh, this is again uh, uh, repeated by Bhaskara. This uh, area of the quadrant is given, but it is not the area of any quadrilateral. It is only the area of cyclic quadrilateral. In India, the mathematics is developed for practical purposes. Whatever they needed practically, for that only they do the calculations, the formula, everything. And uh, for practical purposes, they had only cyclic quadrilateral uh, uh, belief in those days. And therefore, if they say quadrilateral, they meant to cyclic quadrilateral. Without mentioning the cyclic, they say it is area of the quadrilateral. And also, um, the formula for the length of the diagonal is given when the four sides are known. This is the uh, AC, the diagonal is if A, B, C, D are the sides of the quadrilateral, then X is root of A, D plus B, C into A, C plus B, D divided by A, B plus A, D square root of that. And also, the other diagonal is given. Uh, in his in an introduction to history of mathematics says that the above result as most remarkable in Hindu geometry and solitary in its excellence. The above formula was rediscovered in Europe only thousand, uh, thousand years later by Vernus Lowe about 1619 AD. The area of the circle, surface area and volume of a sphere. All of these formulae are given in one simple verse by Bhaskara. Vrittakshetra, Vrittakshetra, Paridhigunita Vyasa Pagaha Palam Yate, Chunnam Vedera Pariparitaha Kandhika Seva Jalam, Vela Sevim Tadapisha Palam, Krishna Zandhyasa Nugrim, Shabhar Bhaktim Bhavati Niyatam, Vela Garbhya Ganakim. So Vritta is a circle, Vrittakshetra is a circle of field, Paridhi circumference, Vyasa diameter, Paga is one fourth. So one fourth of the diameter multiplied by the circumference, that is the area of the circle, when we put B as 2C, uh, 2R, etc., it simplifies to pi R square. 
then surface area of the sphere. Here one of the uh, interesting thing is he explains how the circum what is the circumference of the sphere. He says Kambuka Seva Jalam. If you cover uh, Kambuka uh, ball by a neck, what area it will cover? That is the surface area. So Kambuka Seva Jalam he says. If you cover nowadays we have seen an apple covered by a neck, neck like thing. So that is the surface area to uh, the students to understand. He says Kambuka Seva Jalam. So that is from Veda Rupar Veda stands for four in Buddha Sankhya. So if this area of the circle is multiplied by four, that gives the Pushtajam Palam, that is the surface area. Then that is multiplied by glass and it will be multiplied by diameter and divided by six. We get the volume of the square. So the proofs are given for this. Uh, demonstration. You mm, cut a circle. This is again given in several books. In uh, Ganesha Devagya gives it, and also it is there in the Kriya Karmakari, another commentary, and in uh, some other book also. Ganesha Mathakuti also it is there. Uh, so, how um, this uh, almost began to 15th and 16th century? Uh, ready. So, a uh, circle is cut into two halves. Each is cut into equal <coughs> sectors and the first half is arranged like this, second half is arranged and you see that this length is half the diameter radius and this length is half the circumference. This is half the circumference and when you put them together it becomes a rectangle. Now this is the area of the rectangle and that is same as the area of the circle. So here the rectangle we know that length into breadth that is half the circumference into half the diameter that is also the area of the circle. Okay. To find the surface area of the sphere <coughs> and you take a circular clock whose diameter the previous one or this one? Okay. You take a circular clock whose diameter is equal to the circumference of the greater circle of the sphere. So in the sphere you can have a lot of uh, circular this one. You take the major circle that is the greater circle and the circumference of half the circumference are the circumference is taken as the diameter of the circular clock. Then you cover this hemisphere with a circular clock and if you cover it, a little bit of cloth is left over like the fleets of the sari. And then the area of this circular clock with the diameter pi r by 2 is of the diameter into circumference, it comes to 5 by 2 pi r square. Because a little bit of cloth is left over, that is equal to half pi r square. And uh, subtracting this, we get the area of the hemisphere alone is, surface area of the hemisphere alone is 2 pi r square. The area of the sphere is 4 pi r square. So for that I have done this, having a hemisphere and covered it uh, uh, with a circular cloth and wanted to show you, for that brief, it can be actually done. Then volume of the sphere, see the sphere, the, second, the surface area of the sphere is divided into unit squares. Because the, uh, the surface area is 4 pi r square, we can uh, divide it into 4 pi r square unit squares on the circumference. So each, and uh, you make a coin to the center, imaginary one. So if there is a coin made to the center, the sector. So the height of that is known d by 2, the radius. So the volume of one conical section made is surface area into one third into height. 
So surface area is one unit square, and the height is two by two, and the one third of it. So uh, this is the volume of one conical section. As there are four pi r square conical sections, four pi r square into two by six, that gives you only number kilo. Scholars say uh, this is. Uh, The, the formula is also given. For uh, Sushi Chaitra, it is one third of the height into this. That is given in one of the itself in another verse. So that they are using here. And um, even this they say because uh, small units are taken and combined, there is a redundancy of calculus in this. And uh, Uthi Basha of Jeshya Deva derives the expressions for the formula for volume of the sphere etc. with the help of the methods of calculus which were rediscovered in Europe later by Newton and Leibniz in 1761 or so. So at least 150 years after that. The derivation of volume so let R be the radius of the sphere and see the circumference of the great circle. So area of that circle is half into circumference into radius. Suppose we divide the circle into thin slices of circles. Okay? So this is suppose the jth circle. This is suppose the jth circle. Its radius is bj and it is actually half chord. AB is the chord for the bigger circle and therefore it is half chord for the bigger circle and bj is the jth slice. And so half chord bj is the radius of the jth slice into which the sphere has been divided. The corresponding circumference according to this formula is c by r into bj. And the area is half into circumference, half into c by r into bj square. See, if delta is the thickness of the slice, multiplying by that thickness, you get the volume of the jth slice alone is half into c by r into bj square into delta. So this is volume of the jth square. We apply to all the slices, then volume of the sphere, the sum of the squares of the R sines bj square. So this volume is really equal to half c by r into bj square, bj square, etc. bj square into delta. Then this half chord, uh, there is uh, a rule given in even area the day and also in uh, uh, this one. Square of half chord equals to product of the shara. Shara is this, uh, this length, the height of the segment. This is MP is a shara and this also a shara. So this is AP into PB is MP into SB. Uh, so here AP into PB is BJ. So BJ square is AP into PB equal to MP into SB. In this MP into SB can be written as MP plus SB whole square minus MP square plus SB square. MP plus SB is 2R. Therefore it is 2R square minus MP square plus SB square. Uh, if delta is 2R by 1, with the thickness of each slice, then the jth R was seen is MP J delta and its complement is SB M minus J delta. Then summing up, uh, the squares of R sines BJ square, both MP square and SP square are the same result. The previous result, uh, sorry, uh, we written as volume is half C by R into R by M half etc. Volume is half into C R by M to R by M into 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square. For large n, the sum of the squares where this and is essentially one third of the cube of the number of times and therefore this becomes uh, volume is c by 2r and 4r cube is 8r cube by 3. Simplifying we get 4 by 3 pi r cube. So volume of the square is 1 6 of the circumference into square of the diameter which is same as 4 by 3 pi r cube. This you can see the Ganitha Vithyabhasha translated by uh, Professor Amashri Ram and Ram Subramanian and others. Not only this, we can find uh,
because of time constraint, I have restricted. Moreover, there are rules, examples, and demonstrations to find the arrow. Arrow is the height of the segment, card and diameter of the circle, sides of regular polygon square in circle, starting from three side regular polygon to three side polygon, and also an inside polygon, or length from card, area of the segment, and so on. Then, Khatha Vyavahara, this also forms part of geometry. Khatha is uh, an excavation or a ditch, a uh, uh, ditch dug in the ground. So, uh, to find that, if there is an irregular solid, he says, you calculate the length in several places, add and divide by the number of places, that gives the average length. Similarly, average breadth and average height are found out, then volume is going to go into H. Then, to find the volume of a pyramid and its first term, the rule is given, Mukhaza, Talaza, Tadjitiche, Kshetra, Palaikyam, Pritam, Shaddihi, Kshetra, Palam, Samanayagam, Vedahatam, Gana, Palam, Spashtam. Samakada, Palatrayam, Shaha, Suchi, Kathe, Palam, Bhavati. If A, B are the sides of the top and uh, C, D are the sides of the bottom, if they are similar figures, then, uh, some, uh, similar figures, then the uh, volume of this question is given as A, B into C, D plus A plus C into B plus D into height divided by 6. And uh, the proof is given by separating them into parts. The first one is separated center a cube y. And here four triangular prisms in the four sides, four triangular prisms. And in the corner is four uh, square pyramids, in the four corners, four square pyramids. And calculating separately the volume of each and adding it, they arrive at the formula. So here, the volume of the rectangular box is ABH and the volume of the four triangular prisms is given as A by 2 into B minus B by 2 into H. So there are two of them. And so many volume of the each rectangular pyramid is C minus A by 2, B minus B by 2 into H. So adding all that and simplifying, we arrive at the formula given that is AB plus CD plus A plus C into B plus D into H by 6. In shadows in the name. <coughs> Shanku is called a naming or a pole. Usually it is taken as 12 inches side. And the Pradipa is a lamp post. Why on top we are having the light? This is a lamp post and it is called Pradipa. Sometimes it is called Ara also. Then, Shanku Talantara Gunahu. So, how it is to be found out? Chaya is shadow. So, um, the shadow is here. This is the Shanku pole. What is this? This is the pole. Shanku. And this is the light. Uh, one post and the shadow is given by the rule. Shadow is same as this A into B divided by H. This H is the difference, the high, uh, difference in the height between the deep uh, lamp, lamp post and the pole. H is the this distance AD and A is same as the height of the pole and B is the distance between the pole and the lamp and this is the shadow. So, uh, the shadow is given as A into B by H. So, that is what is given here. Distance between the foot of the lamppost and the foot of the pole is multiplied by the pole height divided by the difference in the height of the lamppost and the shadow. For the same example is given. Same thing. The shadow, how to find the shadow, the result is given. Using the rule, we find the result. And in Brahmasvara Siddhanta, 
In chapter 19, he uses various varieties of problems and shadows to find the height of the building and the uh, and all. So here, OB is the building and the CD is a man who is standing here. And from C is eyes, he is seeing the shadow of this building in the river. This is the river surface. And the OB, uh, the building has a shadow, B A dash, and E is the point of reflection. So here, we know that OB, OBE and the CDE are small drivers, but uh, um, the Indian mathematicians don't mention as such the word similar triangles, but they know the properties of the similar triangles. They use the proper the proportional needs, uh, proportional needs of the sides, proportional uh, proportionality of the sides of the similar triangles. They use it. So they say uh, CD by AB equal to DE by BE, and it can be rewritten as CD by AB plus CD equal to DE by BE plus and that is DE plus BD. So from this we get this DE, that is we find, we locate the point of reflection. DE is BD into CD by AB plus CD. And again, the height of the building, AB by CD is BE by DE, therefore AB equal to BE into CD by D. So uh, there are uh, more, more varieties of problems in this chapter of Brahmaspada Siddhanta. Then, Geometrical algebra. Geometry is ex uh, algebra is explained with geometry and geometry is sometimes explained with, with the help of algebra. Here, an algebra concept uh, like uh, sum of the uh, sum of n terms of series then is explained by a Shredi Kshetra. So here, we are seeing that this is the number of terms strips of wood probably and with the number of terms and this, this is the last term and this is the first term and the height of each of the strip is the common difference D. Now half of the strips are taken and rearranged like this the top to the bottom and the next to the next etc. It is rearranged if half of them are rearranged it becomes a rectangle. Now the area of the rectangle you know this is L plus A and this is half of N therefore N by 2 and the area of this is L plus A into N by 2 and it is nothing but a, uh, the sum to n terms of an arithmetic series uh, last term plus first term into n by 2 So most of the Indians do not know that the vast ancient scientific literature including books on mathematics, science, etc. exist in India. The purpose of this workshop is to make the youngsters know about the greatness of the mathematicians and mathematics that existed in India centuries ago, while the other countrymen did not even know how to calculate. To boost up the self-confidence when they think that if their ancestors could excel to the rest of the world, excel the rest of the world, they also can, and to initiate them into new areas of research. There are some problems given, you can take a slide for this and you can work it yourself. And there are wonderful constructions here in Shubha Sutra. I showed you one, some concept uh, square which is equal area to the sum of the areas of other two squares. Here you have a, you can construct a square whose area is equal to the difference of the areas of two squares. And also construct a square whose area is n times the area of the given square. And transform a square into a triangle of same area. Transform a rectangle into a square of equal area. Transform a square into a rectangle of given area. And there are, um, I just given a few examples. There are a lot of construction like this. If you want to give us uh, some extra work for 
or uh, telling the students or some project work, you can take up, you can ask them to do this. These are available, uh, Shiva Sutra uh, is available with English translation. All the four, Apastamba, Katyayani, uh, Dojayani and Manu Shiva Sutras, all four of them are translated and uh, available with explanations. This can be done by the students. This can be, uh, these are constructions which are not exactly done in the school. This can be extra work for the interested students. So this other one, I mentioned to you that uh, transforming a square into a rectangle of given area. So this is a square. If you want to convert it into the rectangle of the same area, cut this part with here, cut this part, arrange it here, that is on the side. So this becomes a rectangle of equal area to this square. Like this, there are a lot of... This is a given square, you have to convert it into a rectangle of equal area. You can make them into four parts. This part you can put here and this part you put here, it becomes a rectangle of equal area. Like this, there are a lot of uh, constructions given in Shiva Sutras. In fact, Shani Chiti and all with the, all the, with the measurements given, the students themselves can construct. Uh, once in uh, Crown Pet Vedanta Vidyalaya, uh, I gave them the measurements of everything and uh, they construct the Shani Chiti actually. Then I am some more of them also. So this can be done by the students with all interest. This can be given for extra project. So they, at least they come to know about what is existing, what was existing in India and what can be done. Um, this is written by giving uh, a reference. So the last one, 15th one, the Shiva Sutras by Western Sun in AK Bhan. This is available to English translation by Indian National Science Academy, New Delhi. And if you want to know about uh, overall uh, work done by the Indian mathematicians in Indian textbooks, there is an English book written by Dutta and Singh, History of Hindu Mathematics, Volume 1 and 2, by the Bhuvi Bhushan Dutta and Dagadhar Shara and Singh. It is available in the shops also. If you read those two books, it gives an overall idea of what are all their Indian mathematics and you can choose your uh, topic of interest. And also a book by Venkatapal Heru, this is also in English, The History of Mathematics and Mathematicians of India. Kulavati, of course, is translated by several people, Colebrook and by uh, Patwardham, uh, Shaila Singh, etc. You can go through the name of the book also. There are interesting examples in that. And also, Ganitha Sara Sangaraha, you can have a lot of interesting examples. Uh, there are, uh, there are uh, 600 volumes, there are 700 examples will be there in Ganitha Sara Sangaraha. It is available with the translation. You can see that working will not be there, you have to work out. Another thing, time permits. Yes. Which one? Oh, I said I'll come back with this afterwards. Okay, one minute, one minute. Square. Okay. challenge because it's new. one is a, a curved figure, other is a square figure, but they have found out methods for that also. So, uh, ABCD is a given square 
when the Shiva Sutra says, you construct the second circle of the Green Square. Okay? So this is the second circle. And you take the radius of the second circle, cut one fourth of one fifth of it. One fifth of the radius you cut, and then with the four fifth of the radius, if you draw the circle, that will be having the area equal to the square. Okay? So how is that? We'll see the that is now this OD is also the radius of the second circle and OH is also the radius of the second circle. And O D is you know that is um, half the diagonal is in this square. Therefore, if this side is A, then this OH or O D is uh, four fifth of O D is four fifth of S by two into root two. S is the side of the square, then S by two into root two will be O D. Then this OK, which is 4 fifth of the radius, will be 4 fifth of S by 2 into root 2, or 2 root 2 into S by 5. The construction, pi r square is S square, that's what we say. It is, see, you cannot have exactly uh, up to the decimal point, it's almost the same, it is uh, really an uh, approximate value. So here, this uh, construction pi r square is S square, uh, implied approximation found is, this r of this triangle, this OK, is 2 into root 2 S by 5 whole square, that equal to side square, area of the square. So this approximates to the pi value 25 by 8, which is 3.125. The other one, this vice versa, is the, 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 the square is constructed equal in area to a circle. There also you get a pi value, which is still more uh, um, uh, than is accurate. So uh, in, in, like this, see for, uh, for the ancient years, uh, even in uh, nowadays, uh, when you do the uh, temple kumbhavishagam, if you go before that you can see a lot of fire altars in different shapes. One is in pentagon, one is in circle, one is in half circle. And for the seers, uh, each of them uh, for each deity it will be of different shape but all should be of equal area. So that made them work square equal area out of circle, circle area out of pentagon, pentagon area out of square, etc. So while doing so, we involved a lot of calculations and they derive uh, a lot of formulae, lot of values is pi value, root to value, and uh, equations, all that came along with this, uh, the Vesmogi constructions. So like this, mathematics evolved along with the uh, Shubha, Shubha Sutra for the religious and Vedic activities, mathematics also evolved along with that. And moreover, for this performing uh, sacrifice and all, they have to have exact auspicious time. To find auspicious time, they need to know the positions of the planets. To know the positions of the planets, they need astronomical calculation. For the astronomical calculation, again, mass is needed. Like this, for the development of astronomy and development of their religious activities, mathematics also developed instantaneously. This is how they, they went hand in hand when the mathematics and astronomy developed together. Thank you for the introduction For briefing the Indian geometry, ancient Indian geometry, I now request our former director, Dr. Vikameshri Madam, to honor our uh, resource person who is also a student. will all agree how rich our Indian knowledge system has been. From morning, we have been listening to more terms like dhana, runa, kshepa, bhavana, chakravala and so on. But the thing is, to, to understand our own Bharatiya mathematics, we 
are dependent on Western mathematics. So this workshop has been organized to open our eyes. And they have worked hard, like they have done tapas. When they were doing their PhD, to unravel and to understand the term, they have spent sleepless nights. So with all their efforts today, we are able to witness this. So thank you both ma'am. Thank you and even the uh, professor who inaugurated the session had given us a brief outline as to how the Vedas and Puranas are not with so many thoughts have been recorded in those texts also. So thank you. And uh, tomorrow again we have two more sessions, very interesting sessions. Dr. C.R. Anantraminji from former professor of Sanskrit, Vivekananda College, Thiruvedagam, will be giving a talk on calculation in structural astrology. Dr. N.R. Dave, Chartered Civil Engineer in Chennai, he would be talking on mathematical calculations in Vastu Shastra. Ms. G. Rajarajeshwari, Project Staff, Centre for IKS, IIT Madras, will give a lecture on an introduction to Indian astronomy. And after lunch, we have a session. And Dr. K. Prashant, former head of the Department of Sanskrit, R.K. Vivekananda College, Chennai, will give an introduction to Vedic mathematics. And after that, we will have the valedictory function. I request you all to be present tomorrow also, so that we will be able to offer our Rishi Ajna. So of the four, Deva Yajna, Pitri Yajna, Manushi Yajna, Rishi Yajna, we have the last is Bhuta Yajna. Somebody asked me, when you told me, you told the fifth one, that is the Bhuta Yajna, where every day we offer something to the beings around us. Kagat Kweket, all this. When we do Rangoli in uh, rice floor, it goes to the ants and other things. So we will be offering our Rishi Yajna by attending the course tomorrow also. Tomorrow we are starting sharp at 10 o'clock. 